Welcome to the 2013 Detroit Auto Show. My name is Horatio and I will be your host today at the BMW stand. With just very few hours before the show opens, BMW has given me an exclusive preview of the BMW concept 4 Series Coupe, M6 Grand Coupe and Z4 Facelift. I'm sitting right next to the BMW concept 4 Series Coupe and as you can see it's still under the cover. I know you're anxious to see the beautiful new 4 Series but we're going to save best for last and we're going to head over to the BMW Z4 facelift to take a look at the new updates. New for 2014 BMW updates the Z4 with all enhancements to an already stunning car. First, we have a redesigned LED headlights with LED accent lights. Second, new side gills are included in the facelift which enhance the flowing character of the design line. Also, for the first time, the BMW Z4 Roadster is available in the Valencia orange paint. To beautifully contrast with the orange color, BMW is including a black top for the first time in a Z4. The new BMW Z4 facelift will come to market in spring of this year. Next, we're going to take a look at the BMW M6 Grand Coupe. BMW is launching the first M6 mallet with four doors, and it is called M6 Grand Coupe. In my opinion, this is one of the sharpest and most beautiful M cars ever built. I would like to show you around. First and foremost, the M6 Grand Coupe stands out with its very, very low roof line, typical to a coupe, as well as the specifically designed carbon fiber rooftop, as we have seen previously on other M3 models. Also, unique to this car, are the 20-inch wheels as well as gold caliper brakes. Moving to the front of the car, as you can expect from the M guys, they've decided to include very, very large air intakes that dominate the road, and the designers took it a step further and designed specifically kidney grills with the M6 logo. And to top it all off, BMW is giving us one of the most beautiful paints ever. It is called BMW Individual Frozen Silver. This is the BMW M6 Grand Coupe. Now, as I promised earlier, we're going to take a look at the BMW Concept 4 Series Coupe. And yesterday I had a chance to speak with one of the guys from Munich about the car and he's answered some questions from fans that posted on the Facebook page. Let's have a look. Now I have Bernard here and we're during the rehearsal day at the BMW stand at Detroit Auto Show and I just wanted to ask you a few questions about the BMW 4 Series. Uh, those questions were posted by uh, BMW fans on the Facebook page and the first one starts with what was the reason for BMW to create the new BMW 4 Series and also why is BMW changing the naming convention of its cars? Yeah, yeah well uh, first of all the goal of our designers and engineers is always to build the best car in the segment so period this is the goal. And that was also the goal for the following car for the current 3 Series Coupe. And our designers and engineers came up with this car, which you can see right here. And we, after seeing the result, we thought, okay, it's got more of everything. It's got more aesthetics, it's got more dynamics, it's got more presence. So it's more of everything. That means 3 plus 1 equals 4. And that is part of the reason why we came up with the 4 Series naming. Okay, perfect. Uh, next question. Uh, will there be an X-Drive version of the 4 Series? We do understand that X-Drive is getting more and more important for customers around the world, not only in the Americas, but also in Europe yeah. and in Asia. So, um, as we are standing right now in front of a concept car, we cannot disclose uh, all technical details, but taking that into account, I think uh, it's fair to say that there will be pretty soon an X-Drive version of the production car as well. Okay, thank you. Um, also around us, we have a lot of cars with the BMW 4-cylinder engine. And um, as you know, a lot of consumers are anxious to, to learn about the six-cylinder models. Is BMW planning to offer a uh, six-cylinder engine in the 4 Series? Right now we are talking about the concept car and not about the technical details of the production car. But if you look at the car, if you look at the BMW typical design with the long hood, you can say, I think it's easy to say that a six-cylinder inline engine fits underneath that hood. Okay, understood. Uh, we're clearly looking at the concept vehicle. Yeah. and. Um, what kind of changes should we expect when the car hits production? 
Well, this car is from the overall shape very close to the production car. Of course, there will be some details which will be changed or there are some details which will be changed. And you can also um, expect our line concept that we've introduced um, with the 1 Series in Europe and with the 3 Series with the new generation Sport line, Modern line and Luxury line and also with the M Sports package. And this is very popular. This line concept is very well accepted by our customers. So you can expect this uh, also to become reality for the 4 Series. Okay, so everything sounds great but now the big question of the day. What kind of pricing uh, should consumers expect yeah. Yeah. for the BMW 4 Series? Well, we are well, well aware that we are in a very competitive market environment. And um, uh, so we plan to have this car priced at a comparable uh, level than the outgoing 3 Series Coupe. Of course, at this point of time, we cannot uh, give, give you details on the pricing, but expect a similar pricing than the current 3 Series Coupe. The 2013 Detroit Auto Show will open its doors shortly, so please stop by the BMW stand to see all the new cars. This is Horatio from BMW Blog. Thank you for joining us.